Last time I showed you how after we've collected our n data points, we can use these two formulas to obtain our estimates of beta naught and beta 1. And in this video, I'm going to show you a specific example on how we can apply these formulas. So I'm going to do everything in R. So if you're not familiar with R, it's fine. I'm just going to explain each line on the way. And I'm going to run everything line by line so I can explain them as I go through this example. So first of all, you can see that we have all of our data. So we have X and Y, and then we have eight data points. So this would correspond to N being equal to eight. And then you should read this by pairing the data off. So the first data point is X is equal to two, Y is equal to 10. The second data point is X is equal to five and Y is equal to negative nine and so on. So once I load this into the environment, we would have all of our data. And then over here, we have the formulas. So this is the formula that would give us the estimate of beta one. And then you can see that this is really just the formula that we derived last time. So you have X minus the sample mean of X times Y minus the sample mean of Y. And then we sum everything. And then for the denominator, we have X minus the sample mean of X squared. And then we sum everything. So once I load this line over here, this would give me the value of beta one. So according to the data we've collected, our estimate of beta one is equal to this value over here. And then we do the same for beta naught. You can see that this term over here is just the exact same as the formula we derived last time. So we have the sample mean of Y minus the estimate beta one times the sample mean of X. So we can just load this as well. And you can see that the estimate for beta naught is negative 13.5. So usually in R, when we're trying to do linear regression, we won't really type the formulas out to ourselves every time. So usually we will use the functions already, already built inside R. So here I'm just going to use the linear regression function to show you that using those inbuilt functions, I'll get the exact same results as well. So this line over here will help me do linear regression. You can see that I'm doing linear regression and then I'm obtaining all of my data from the object example, which contains all of our data. So once I load this, R would do linear regression and then it will save all of the results inside lm.fit. And then now in order to obtain the results, I can just use this command over here. This will extract the coefficients. And so you can see that this term over here, intercept, this is just beta naught. So beta naught is the intercept of the straight line that you get. And you can see that it's negative 13.5, the exact same as what we obtained. And then this is the coefficient of x, which is just beta 1. And you can see that it's equal to 1.227, which is also what we obtained. And then now finally, before I end this, I want to show you what everything looks like graphically. So I'm just going to, first of all, plot the data points. So this would plot the values of y against x. And then this would give me the title of my plot. It's, I'm just going to call it simple linear regression. And this is just some formatting. It will turn all of my data points into these black dots. So once I load this, you can see that this is just the plot of all of my data points. And then now I want to superimpose the line that we've just obtained from linear regression. And I can use this line over here. And then this line over here is just some formatting. I'm just making the line width a bit, uh, I'm just increasing the line width. So once I load this, you can see that we get our line and you can see that it fits the data pretty well. And then this line over here would be a straight line that has a intercept, a Y intercept of negative 13.5 and then it will have a slope of 1.227. And so this is the line over here.